Hello everyone, welcome back to SFDC Panther. My name is Amit Singh. In this video, we are going to talk about another scenario related to Flow Builder series. This is going to be scenario number eight. And again, this is related to the record trigger scenario. So on a high level, what we are going to do here is whenever an opportunity is created with the discount percentage greater than not exactly the 5%, when a discount percentage is greater than 2%, then the record should automatically be submitted for approval. That's what we are going to do here. On a high level, what we are going to do is we will create a record, okay, uh, which is a type of opportunity. There is a field discount percentage. If the discount percentage field is going to have the value greater than 2%, we will submit that record automatically for the approval process. For the approval. So, what approval process is, how to create an approval process, what we are uh, Mm, talking here is everything is there that we have covered in the previous video so if you have missed that video you will get the description uh, we will get the link into the description you'll also get the link into the eyeball icon here so you can just go there please pause this video pause that video complete create that approval process because that is what we are going to use over here before we go ahead and start implementing please do like and subscribe the channel and also there is a link in the description for our new channel which is very useful in terms of uh, cracking the interview for the multiple companies. So please go ahead and do like, share, subscribe that channel as well. Now here, let's talk about what uh, we have done in the previous video. So basically we have created an approval process where we have got a couple of steps and the approval process is uh, basically checking if the discount is between two to 4%, it is, uh, it is taking the approval from the manager. And if the discount is greater than 4%, it is seeking the approval from our uh, senior manager. Okay. So, for that part of we have created two fields one is discount percentage and one is approval status. So, if you go ahead and put a discount percentage, say that 3, and if you click on save, this is just a part of previous uh, <coughs> video. Okay. We have got 3%. Automatically, this record is not submitted for approval. Now, if you want to submit, user must need to select this submit for approval button. Click on this, okay? Click on this button, provide their comments, and then click on submit. So, this is a manual task which a user has to perform. Now, there are some scenarios where a user are too busy in order to uh, follow these steps, right? So, what we usually do as an admin or as a developer, we kind of automate these processes. We, uh, we automate these processes. How we do that? We will go ahead and set up a flow builder over here. Now, what flow builder here it is going to be? So, we already have one chart which we usually use to figure out which flow we are going to use either after trigger or before trigger. So, here we are going to trigger an approval process which is a kind of action. Whenever there is an action, we usually use after trigger. So, we will go ahead in the quick search box search for flows and to uh, till now you are already aware about how to search for flows and how to create those flows so we'll go ahead create a new flow for our use and this time this flow is going to be record triggered flow and we will use after trigger so we can say over here which object we want if we want for opportunity whenever that record is created or we will say a record is created or updated okay and that's what we are going to choose what is going to be the condition we will say here there is something called discount approval Discount percentage is the button, okay. Sorry, is the field. What we will check is it, it must be greater than, and whenever it is a percent field, so in the UI, it usually shows you the number, it says that 3%. So if you calculate in the actual value, what it will tell us, it will tell 0 0.03 or 0 0.04, whatever the values there. So we will say that 0 0.02. So it must be greater than 2%. Action related records and when the record flow updates the record, we will say only when a record is updated to meet the condition requirements. What exactly it is like uh, if we are changing the percentage field and this value or uh, like this criteria matches, then only it will execute this flow in case of update. Okay, so go ahead and click on that. So we have just set up this start element. Now, what we have to do is we don't need to perform any sort of checks because we already have put. The condition that discount is greater than 2%. We'll go ahead and click on plus icon and then select action. And under actions, 
you will be seeing over here if you search for submit for approval this is the inbuilt action which we can also say that uh, part of core actions so we have to select that and then you need to select whatever the submit for approval whatever the label you wanted to have then here it is asking for which record like which record we wanted to approve okay so we will say whatever the record it is actually either editing or creating okay now what is our approval process we must need to give it a name so we'll just go ahead and include it and then we have got approval process name okay so we have to give the name or id so what we can do is we can get back to our setup we already have approval process in place but if you want to have that approval process like if you don't have you have to watch the previous video now this is the approval process okay this is our approval process now if you want to get the id what we can do is we can just go there and uh, go to the developer console and find the id or what we can do is we can just go ahead and copy this unique name and paste it over here okay then there are something like a skip entry criteria if you want what are the submission comment uh, this uh, with submission comment is something which will be displayed on the very first approval history we will say here we will say that whatever record and let's say that name record name and we'll say that is we are just putting record dot name is submitted for discount approval who is going to submit so we will say always the submitter will be record owner okay let's say record owner who is basically the owning that record we are not going to skip so that our approval process will always check for uh, entry criteria and next approver ids we are not going to provide anything and we will just go ahead click on that if there is any error you can just go ahead and add a fault path and for your reference you can just do the chat post go ahead and click on save so this is just the label which i have put submit for approval discount approval and we will go ahead and save this now before we activate it usually what we do is we debug the record we will say skip start conditions we are just skipping then we will go ahead what opportunity is there this is our opportunity click on run so there is some error what error is there this record is currently in an approval process a record can only be one approval process at a time okay why the error is there because we have submitted this record for approval if you scroll down to the bottom the approval history should present over here if you go to the approval history you can either approve or reject okay so let's quickly approve this uh, request i'm going to approve this as soon as i approve here you can see this is approved there is no response from this user now if you see this is the submitter here this is the submitter comment that we have just put right record.name is submitted for opportunity discount that is the comment which will appear over here now again if you go to the flow you will say debug again and click on run now you can see here this is working fine that means our record our our flow is working fine you just need to go ahead and activate this and once you do the activate this time we will try to figure out a different opportunity i'm selecting edge emergency generator we'll go to the detail tab and here we are going to edit it so let's quickly put four okay and we'll go ahead and save this so if our flow will work the status uh, the approval status will change to submitted for approval due to our approval process initial actions that's what we got over here and if you scroll down you can see there is an approval history of three users if you see here or uh, there is this three history and this is the as emergency generator is submitted for discount approval our comment which we usually uh, provided and uh, the discount is between two to four like two to four is there that's why it is coming for our two to four step okay and there are two users and any one user can approve this for example if i approve this there is no action available i can just go ahead and open this once i open i found this approve or reject or reassign so i can just go ahead and approve this and i'll say approved and just this approval is done it is still pending okay uh, there is uh, one user as approved admin user as approved but there is still one approval which is pending so we have to again get back to the user so not user 
to our approval history one step is approved there is one uh, approval which is still needed now it says that discount greater than four percent now the reason there is a second step which is coming over here is because it says that the very first step says if the discount is greater than 0 0.2 and less than 0 0.4 or less than or equal to not less than that's why like 0 0.04 came in both steps you see here greater than or equal to so that's why these two steps are coming now if i go ahead and approve this as soon as okay it says that another user recalled or responded to this request so we have to basically refresh this and then you can either approve or reject okay that completely depends upon you so basically that is how we usually uh, go ahead invoke the approval process from our flow builder there could be other scenarios where you wanted to do some other customization that you can easily do so this is it for this video thank you for your time and if you have any scenario please feel free to email us and the email is mentioned in the description of the video and again please do like and subscribe over this channel as well as the new channel uh, where we are going to put uh, a very exciting videos so we will meet into the next video thank you